Okay, welcome to our tutorial on how to use Batch Patch to install Windows updates on remote computers. I'm going to start by launching the application. You can see here I have a text file. It's called Hosts List, and it literally is just a text file of host names. I'm going to start by dragging that onto the Batch Patch grid. I'm going to highlight all the hosts in the grid. And this actually isn't necessary, but I'll show you a first step if you like you could check for available updates on these computers so we'll run this check and we can wait for it to return and really quickly we see already we have five updates available on most of these computers and we have one the Windows 2008 machine which is uh, only has four updates if I click over that's a middle click actually onto our log column we can see the specific updates that are available for a given host and the details of the update. Security updates here, this is actually our, our update classification and then this just tells us if it's downloaded what the MSRC severity rating is if there is one, in this case there's no rating these are Microsoft ratings, uh, is it installed is reboot going to be required, etc. So all these are maybe require reboots. A lot of the updates that Microsoft publishes uh, don't have a definitive reboot required property. And in those cases, they say, well, we may require a reboot or we may not. Okay, so once again, I'm going to highlight all the hosts. I'm just right clicking and I'm going to choose to download and install updates plus reboot if required. And let's see what happens. So we can see we're downloading updates, 105, 205 in some cases. If I actually middle click over one of these rows, it will tell me the update name, that 30% when I clicked on it was an indication of how much of that particular update number two was installed. Now we're on 6% of update number five, but it's 85% overall. Let's just click away. We've moved on to the installing phase. Installation actually already completed for our 2008 computer and reboot was initiated. Notice after reboot, automatically a pinglet window is launched. We can see that machine has already gone down. And a few of our other machines are now being rebooted. And now we can wait till they come back up. We see on the 2008 computer has already come back up. Everything turns blue to indicate that the reboot is complete. It's back down. Sometimes you'll see with the Windows 2008 machine and when it starts up, it'll ping briefly and then uh, stop being able to ping. So here it's back. And it automatically stopped pinging. We currently have our automatic stop pinging after reboot setting enabled to stop pinging after 10 successful pings after a machine has gone down. And so we're almost complete. If I want, what we can see here over in this remote agent log column is, oops, that was again a middle click. This doesn't even fit on the screen right now because I'm dealing with a small resolution, low resolution, but we can see that after we did our search, search ended, we began our filter. In this case, we weren't filtering anything. There are more advanced filters under tool settings uh, that are available to you. We've downloaded all the updates. Those are all successful. Only a couple of these actually required a reboot, um, but if a couple updates require a reboot, then we set reboot required to be true, and then we reboot any machine. Uh, another way to just access that log information, especially in this case where it's not fitting on my screen because of small resolution, is I can just view the file here and we'll just hop down to the very bottom. And we can see this was our log. We started at 6.47 p.m. And that's everything that we did. Pardon, we're in a virtual machine.
machine here, so the screen updating is a little bit flaky. But okay. So that's it. Thank you for joining me.